All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhara Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahashem is in the name. Rakhara Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Shall I want to the hundred and forty four thousand men that's later in the street for the sake of Yahweh watching outside? And shall I want to the innumerable multitude of men, women, and children that may be listening to all truth and sincerity? Shall I want this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power Yahweh watching outside from GMS West Palm? And the title of this video, Lord willing, is going to be, uh, you know, you know, our thoughts are not, are not his thoughts, you know. The way we think is not the way you have watching our side things. And I'm going to read this scripture here. This is Isaiah 55, starting at 8. For my thoughts are not your whip, are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, save the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Excuse me, you know. So just by that scripture alone, you know, the Lord is is on a uh, on a different f uh, frequency, you know, uh, than we are. And originally, I wanted to title this video. You know, I was thinking of uh, one day to the Lord is as a thousand years, uh, a thousand years as one day. You know, so even when we pray to the Lord, man, all right, we. Ask him for different things. When we ask him for wisdom, knowledge, or understanding, you know, ask him for uh, to heal us, any health ailments or anything. All right, you know, the Lord is answering that, you know, within a couple of minutes, within a couple of hours, you know. But how we how we see it in these fleshy bodies, you know, it seems like you know, man, the Lord. The Lord may take a few days. The Lord may take a few years, huh? okay? But one day is as a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day, you know? So the Lord is getting that done. It's getting that done, you know, in his time before a, before a day, huh? All right, before a day, the Lord is getting that done. You see, you know, so that that put things in perspective on how quickly the Lord uh, answers our prayers. Now, you know, you know, so we gotta always be uh, grateful for that. Now, and let me grab those precepts. Psalms 94, it says, For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it when it is past, and as a watch in the night. You know, so for a thousand years are in thy sight, but as yesterday when it's past, and they, they watch in the night. You know, so a thousand years is as just yesterday, just as one day until you how about you now shot. You know, so we, we got to be patient now. All right? You know, this truth is all about being patient, all right, enduring, you know, uh, enduring suffering, okay, and realizing that, you know, we got to get, we got to get in the mind frame of, of thinking like the most high, all right, you know, because his ways are higher than our ways, man, so we got to get on that, uh, we got to get on that, on that frequency that Yahweh Bashmiyah Shah is on. Of course, I get to this precept as well. Second Peter is three, three and eight says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day." All right, and in the kingdom of heaven, you know, it says, and then uh, I believe it's Isaiah. Um, 
believe it's Isaiah 65, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Isaiah 65. Um, let me just start up a little bit, you know, talking about the kingdom. Um, I'm going to start at 20. The point is at 24. It says, there shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days, for the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner, being a hundred years old, shall be accursed. And they, uh, you know, so going into immortality, you know, for the Israelites, it says, and they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. Right, cause one of the curses that was put upon us that we're gonna uh, labor and right, build homes and we're not gonna be able to abide in it, you know. But now the Lord has us, uh, well, in the kingdom of heaven, He's gonna have us to where you know we're gonna be able to enjoy the uh, the, the fruit of our labor. It says, They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people. And mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord Yahweh, and their offspring with them. That's the point. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. You see, and the Lord has already given us a glimpse of that now, man. All right. It says that before they call, I will answer. It says, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. You see, so even with us now, man, you know, the Lord may not, the Lord is still answering our prayers quickly, man. Okay. It may not be at the snap of a finger right then and there. All right. But in the time of the Lord, the Lord is doing that less than a, less than in a, in a day, man. Okay, because one full day with the Lord, you know, your lifetime on this earth right now is over with, man. All right, so the Lord is the Lord is busy, man. All right, the Lord is the Lord is working, man. All right, answering our prayers, He hears the He hears the cry of the righteous, man. So He's answering our prayers, you know. So. He's got to wait upon the Lord to what he's going to answer. He's going to get to you. All right, if you ask, if you ask in, in truth and sincerity, you know, you're not asking amiss. The Lord is going to get to you, man. You see? It says that before they call, I will answer. And while they are speaking, I will hear. All right, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be uh, whatever we need right then and there. Or before we even can even uh, fix our mouth and speak it, it's right there. You know, but... Man, it's captivity now. You know, the Lord is, got, is getting us ready. All right, because in the time of trouble, you know, it might be right then and there. Or you might have to wait. All right, you know, praying to the Lord to, to, uh, to find some food, find some shelter in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, you know, the Lord, you got to believe that the Lord, he's going to answer you. You know, but it's on his time. You see? Everything is on his time. Yeah, the verse 25, you know, speak about the peace that is going to be in the kingdom. Uh, let me get this one. It says, this is James chapter 4, verse 3. It says, he acts and receive not because he acts amiss that he may consume it upon your lusts. You see? So a lot of people, they... They ask for carnal things. They ask for uh, billions of dollars, all right? They ask for multiple women, all right? They ask for a wife, you see? And all those things are, are are carnal, man, all right? Ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? Even a personal testimony, I remember early in the truth, all right? Ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It was, it was like the Lord answered it on, on an instant, man. I was able to... I was able to get built up, man. I was able to understand different breakdowns. All right, understanding, you know, for example, Solomon is a uh, is Yahweh Shai. You know, I was able to understand different things, you know, by asking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Man. All right, what did wisdom of Solomon do? He asked for 
wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that he can uh, rule the people properly. All right, and the Lord granted it to him and gave him even more. All right, because he didn't act for the riches and all that. He asked for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and therefore he blessed him, you know, with the riches. That's why he was the greatest king on earth, you know, which is in reincarnation, uh, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So it's very important on, on what you're asking for as well. All right, not asking for, you know, for carnal things, man. All right, you know, health, you know, that's that's all, uh, in a way, connected spiritually, man, because when we sick, you know, we... Well, we, we, we pray to the Lord, man. All right, because it's not it's not a modifying plaster or herb that he is, but it's that word, man. All right, so we pray to the Lord, and then we and we take the herbs too, man. Okay, you know, but, but but praying to the Lord, asking the Lord is always uh, what's going to heal you. All right, even me these past couple of days been having a like a real bad migraine, you know. Pray to the Lord. Migraine, I mean, the headache, it felt like a migraine. Migraine, headache, lingered on for another two days, even after praying, you know, but still keep, still keep praying, you know, and, and it made me think about, you know, it, it's only been a few minutes, you know, the Lord, not saying that the Lord can't handle everything at one time, you know, but and the Lord has us go through trials as well, man. All right, just see if we're going to keep trusting in him. All right. You know, but if it was a few days that passed by, but hey, in the eyes of the Lord, it's just, it's just another five minutes, you know. You know, he's pretty much saying like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, let my servant suffer this for another five minutes, see how he lasts. You know, five minutes in the time of the Lord, man. All right? You know, because his, his ways are not our ways, man. His thoughts are not our thoughts. The Lord, he doesn't give us everything that, that we ask for right then and there. All right? Because he wants to Because everything is like a test, man. To see how we're going to react, man. You know? That's why you got to be impatient, man. Being impatient is one of the key things in this tree. Patient goes back to suffer. We gotta learn how to suffer. Man. All right, and patience uh, work with uh, endurance. Having endurance in this thing, if you don't have endurance, you know you're gonna you're gonna fall out. If you lose faith, you don't have endurance. You're gonna lose faith. Okay, you know so. Uh, let me just read that Isaiah again. I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Your thoughts neither are your ways. My ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right? You know, so even with, with the whole flat earth, you know, and things like that, you know, yeah, the, yeah we walking on a flat surface. You know, but the earth is massive, man. All right? Huge. Okay. It's kind of like a, if an ant is walking on a on a big ball, all right, that ant may think, like, man, that's, this got to be like a flat surface, you know? But that's either, that, that's neither here, and here or there, you know? says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right, so the Lord is pretty much righteously boasting here, you know, saying that he's above us, man. He thinks on a higher level than us, we're below him, man. And rightfully so, because he made us. All right, he's the, he's the creator, and, and and we're the creature, man. So we worship, we worship the Creator, man. All right? Yeah, how about you, man? All right. So with that, you know, more was in this video was that upon. You know, um, close that. Give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha, 
Kodesh, double honors to the apostles and elders with great wisdom, peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson I say Shalom and above all Shalom.